watching God's Word for You Today program, an online Bible teaching ministry of Maranatha Baptist Church, Villamonte, Bacolod City, Philippines. This program is designed to make the time-tested, solid Word of God relevant to your life's need today. God's Word for You Today is found in For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. To everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Believers should not ashamed of the gospel. Why? Because first, the gospel is the power of God to salvation. After the Apostle Paul thanking God, for the testimony of the Roman believers, he is now emphasizing his attitude toward the gospel. Anong attitude ni Paul? Anong iyang uh, perspective? Anong iyang uh, pagtanaw sa gospel? Verse 16, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. That's the uh, words of the Apostle Paul. That Amo nang iyang uh, perspective, amo nang iyang attitude sa, sa gospel. He knew that the gospel is the power of God and the salvation. So the Apostle Paul was confident on the gospel. Paano niya again express your confidence? I, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, possessed by Christ. Meaning the gospel, no, we all know that the gospel is all about the person and works of Christ. It centers in Jesus Christ. He knew at the same time that there are some who will reject the gospel. Siya mismo na aware siya, kagayinsindi siya, kagabalo siya, na may ara some who will reject the gospel. To the unbelievers, the gospel is foolishness, uh, worthless, nonsense. Wala connection sa kabuik. Para bali Pablo, but for the believers, mali Pablo, verse 18, 1 Corinthians 1, but unto us, it refers to the whole believers, the same gospel that uh, foolishness to the unbelievers, but ano kono sa believers, but unto us, which are saved, it is the power of God. So magita mo na, no? same message, Dua ka response makita natin. For the unbelievers, foolishness. For the believers, the, it is the power of God. <clears throat> Ang gospel. So, for the Jews require a sign and the Greeks seek after wisdom. Amunang ilaya nga ginapangita. Para mali Pablo, verse, verse 23, But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block kay para sa ilaya. Ang gina-expect nila ng Messiah, e wala na meet ang ilang expectation. Nga, magarain politically kag magaluwas sila ya politically pero si Jesus na tao sa pasungan sa, sa manger kag na tao sa pamilya nga pigado so wala nag nagmeet sila ng expectation that's why ang uh, misay kay Kristo the uh, the preaching of the cross or the message of Christ is stumbling block for the Jews and unto the Greeks foolishness kanya man paano ning makaluwas kasi siya mismo na patay no ang Kristo nga makaluwas ato na patay man siya gani for the Greeks, death is a form of defeat or weakness. So, paano naging gospel na? Paano naging good news? Jesus died. So, para sila, foolishness. But, nabalik Pablo, I am not ashamed. Because the same gospel, he believed, and is confident that his gospel, nga reject sang sam, but pwede gamit ang sang Diyos, same gospel, na magdala kaluwasan. Why did men reject the gospel? Number one, it could be, ang sa observation, it could be, it has no connection with the present life. Ang gospel, wala connection sila present life. Mambal sila. Anong kuman ang gospel? Anong kuman ako si Kristo na patay? Kag nabuwi. Kung wala ka subong bugas. May cancer ko. May masakit ko. Wala ko kwarta. Anong kuman ang gospel? Anong kuman ang ginimu ni Jesus sa akong present na sitwasyon? So, disconnect. There's no connection. Ikanwa, it cannot help my present situation. So, ara, gin COVID ko. Uh, wala ko obra ang akong nanay na patay akong tatay ginbayaan ko sa akong ginikanan no puno sa problema ang kabuhi ko makabuhi ng gospel ano ko na kung si Kristo na patay ka nabuhi yung mabalik so it cannot help uh, the present situation sa tao so para silang gospel nonsense uh, worthless it cannot it could be man is more valuable than it than the gospel Para sa tao subong niya, makasurvive ka sa gutom, makasurvive ko sa pigaduhon. Ang muna pinaka-importante subong kay crisis, kag pandemic. But, wala nila makita ang pinaka-value, pinaka-worth sa gospel. Could be ang mga factors, ang mga 
considerations nga ang gospel sa mga unbelievers wala pulos. Kabalugan na si Pablo, confident na siya. Bisa ni rejects ang ibang, pero for sure ang balik Pablo. Same gospel gidyan ng gaom sa Diyos makadala kaluwasan sa tao na magtuo. Even though some will reject the gospel, but Paul is confident that the same gospel has the power to save. So the power of the gospel does not diminish because some rejected it. So Paul is convinced that really the gospel is the power of God to salvation. God can accomplish to bring salvation through the gospel to everyone who believes. Kagamu mo na sa aton, di ba sa una? Wala man pulos ang gospel, do ka nonsense man, do wala connection. Pero amo ng gospel nga nabatihan ka ng bag-us buong sa aton. Kita nga magkriswano, nagdala paglaom, nag-change sa karakter naton, nag-change sa kalipay. Amo ng gospel, nag ginareject subong sa unbelievers. Kaya matu kamaturan sina, the gospel is the power of God to salvation to everyone who believes. Ah, okay? Ikaduwa, ikaduwa nga, 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 nga ang uh, Christians should not be ashamed of the gospel. Ikaduwa, because the gospel reveals the righteousness of God. In the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed or manifested. Ano ba sa verse 17? For therein, for in the gospel, is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, He just, the just shall live by faith. Ang gospel is the revelation of the righteousness of God. So the righteousness of God revealed in the gospel. In what sense that the gospel reveals the righteousness of God? The righteousness reveals the character of God towards sin. Since God is holy, He hates sin. Nah. So, amun ang gospel is a reflection of God's righteousness. Kaya through the gospel, ni pakita that, that God is holy, He hates sin. Kita nga tao makasala. So, ipakita sa gospel na. So, in the gospel, the, the righteousness of God is manifested. Kagamba sa Romans 1.18, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and the righteousness of men who hold, who hold the truth and unrighteousness. So, paagi sa, ang Diyos gin-reveal niya niya kasingkal, niya kainit, niya nga holy wrath against all ungodliness. Ang muna gin-reveal sa gospel. So, in the gospel, Jesus reveals the holiness and justice of God when He was on the cross. And at the same time, He reveals the sinful, sinfulness and wickedness of all men. So in that sense, the gospel reveals the righteousness of God. Kasi sa gospel, gin-reveal niyang pag-abalahan sa Diyos, gin-reveal niyang pagkamakasasala sa tao. The gospel does not just highlight the sinfulness of men, but at the same time, it gives a chance to sinful men to repent for their sins and be just before God by faith in Christ para maksiptabol siya. So these are the reasons why Paul was not ashamed of the gospel because the gospel is the power of God of salvation. The gospel reveals the righteousness of God. So Paul was so confident that the gospel is the power to accomplish salvation to everyone who believes. The power of the gospel does not de depend on the person who rejects and accepts it. Really the gospel is the power of God of salvation. It is the sovereign power of God that determines the salvation of a sinner. Amo na may mo sang gospel. So, dapat kita maging confident. So, unang nga malalain nato na still the gospel has the power to change a person that leads to salvation even in the midst of this pandemic. Same gospel, Japan, na makabago, na makaluwas, bisan subong na pandemic. Ang mga Japan, yung gospel na ang makadala kaluwasan. Ikanwa, beloved in the Lord, be confident that in all circumstances, the gospel has the power to bring hope to the hopeless. Same gospel yung makadala sa paglaom sa mga tao nga wala paglaob ang mga Japon yung gospel na so continue to preach in test the gospel even in this pandemic because the gospel still is the power of God unto salvation that is God's word for you today